Hi guys, it's Sarah. It's my last video of the night. And what I wanted to do is talk about this little dresser I made, but it's like kind of a combo because I made a big version too. Um, I had seen Miranda, Miss Liberty 25's tutorial on the little matchbox dressers. So, of course, I had to get busy making that. I finally found the little ones at my dollar store. So, what I love about it, too, if you haven't seen it, she uses chipboard. So, she glues everything together, but she actually uses chipboard in the middle and on the sides and on the bottom and top. So, it's so sturdy and so cute. So, but I didn't finish it, as you can see because I got distracted by a video I saw this morning by Jen, who is Oak Tree Vibrations, who is who put up a fairy fun challenge giveaway in honor of Fairy Day, which is June 24th. Um, I just finished my second swap, actually my third swap. Art and Sassy, I'm a member of Art and Sassy, I guess, but anyway, um, I haven't ever done a challenge. And I think the point of a challenge is probably to challenge yourself to do something out of your comfort zone a little bit. But I'm not sure that I've done that here, but I do wanna promote this challenge and also challenge myself again because what I ended up doing is after I saw the video, I had made this little four drawer chest with the bigger um, match boxes and I hadn't put paper on it yet. I had only um, put black all around the edges and everything. So when she was talking about the Prima Fairy papers and all that stuff, I knew I had this Nature's Garden paper. So I thought, ooh, let me get that out and see what I come up with. So this is what I came up with. The only problem is I think I'm a little lacking with the stickles. I did put stickles on here. There's a little bit of stickles on the different berries and I put some on this flower and on this fairy's wings on the side. And the lace. After I was done, I'm like, oh, lace, no lace. So I quick, I went ahead and <laughs> adhered this lace on the side. I don't know if you consider that lace. I think it's considered lace. It's either crocheted lace or I don't know, we'll see. So I might not have completed the challenge exactly how I should have, but this is just fine the way it is. If you ask me, I'm still happy with it. Um, it still turned out really, really cute. And um, again, I used Miranda's tutorial, so I used the chipboard and it really works wonders because I had tried this before with the four boxes without chipboard and it was like bloop bloop and I just covered it with paper and it was terrible so this is really um, sturdy and good and I'm even going to try on my next one I think I might put um, an on the edge I might cut a piece of chipboard with an on the edge die into a backing I've seen a couple people do that on different things like um, comp uh, what are they called I can't think of them but anyway I've seen it before so anyway back to this challenge um you know, she was nervous. It's her first challenge giveaway that she's doing, and she asked that we promote it on our channel. So that's what I'm doing. Um, it's Oak Tree Vibrations. Um, Jen, like I said, uh, you must have a fairy, stickles or glitter, two natural elements like flowers, moss, sticks, vines, twigs, feathers, things like that. The color green, which I did my flowers, um, and a piece of lace. Boop, I got my lace. Um... <laughs> So, I think I'm going to make a few more fairy things this month. Um, you don't have to send your entries in, um, but you can. And if you do, uh, you'll get extra entries into the drawings. Now, there's really good prizes, too. She's going to have, she has tons of stuff, like Prima pa paper packs, A4 size, 6x6 size, um, stamp sets, Tim Holtz baubles and things, and... Uh, washi tape and um, little metal findings, all types of stuff. So it's it's worthwhile. I mean, I'm just doing it because it's my first challenge, and I I'm I'm loving YouTube and I'm loving getting involved in all this stuff. So um, it was fun. I liked pulling out things that I might not have pulled out because you know I haven't used these green flowers, and now I have, and I love them. Um, but anyway, uh, that's about it. I think. Um, I'm going to put some information below to link you back to Jen's video. And uh, maybe you'll join the challenge too. And we'll all be making fairies this month. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching.